Sam's flirt. SK is going to try and steal, but uh, I don't think that's successful. He actually gets it, but that's not worth. Oh, first blood. I did. I, okay, I thought we were past this. First in this. Are we not past Only the runes? Yeah, I don't like that idea because now this lane gets a lot harder. Jug's just gonna snap by boots, and then what do you do in this lane when there is two support heroes with two of the better level one harass spells? Like both of them just do so much damage. And like now, look, Jug has boots. You're slowed. Guess what? Lane is over because of that one silly decision. <sighs> like normally, this is a lane Sand King might be able to like play his way. I feel like they're gonna group up that early. Bats is like solid for the good old man to defusal stuff. Void's so flexible, you can go link in Vanguard. Yeah. I feel like Vanguard wouldn't be that bad this game if you couple it with like fighting Illusion. items and not going for radiance. Yeah, that's a good point too, just cause like it's all physical inside of dire. Oh well, they actually got him? Okay, my bad. Chase down the old ogre. Oh, he only had them like radiance after he collected them from his uh, death. The old rundown. Slider was just dying to neutral. And with how Harass's lineup is like so ultimate focused, I don't think they'll be able to contest if the TA does them early enough. Yeah, that's good. Say point. like level seven is when you are comfortable doing them. It's the max level refraction. You have your trap to like place it here or here, so you see when they're scouting. We, uh... Speaking of uh, the areas, I just highlighted Rip Dazzle. Yeah, we just had the classic right. Jug level 6. Oh, that was actually so close. Oh, yeah. I guess maybe thinking there was a point in Bash, perhaps? It blocks nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> nothing of relevance at all. Radiance middle so, one thing pretty safely soon. Abyssal or Hex from, like, the TA Slater. Oh, Hex is Radiance even a build on this hero anymore. There you, there you go. It has been for, like, 10 years. I don't think so. I mean... The thing with Lincoln's Void is, it's not for the here and now, like the 16 minute mark, or the 40 minute mark or so when the hero, like. Oh my god, it is a Lincoln. Active early. It fights into TNC pretty well on their timing. Like, you have a Warlock level 6, TA is doing a buttload of physical damage. Drug will eventually get in, like, probably just Yasha and start being this proactive carry so instead of going for like that timing and then building an item that might cost you the game if it doesn't go well you go Lincoln's which is always a useful item yeah like, it's so greedy to not go for it yeah I agree the drugs move around really nicely and when you have a safe lane that has six kills under his belt at 10 minutes or oh, involvement yeah, in six kills yeah. because there's a rock uh, we don't have any vision now. on this either. Okay, they'll see them coming now by his creeps, but might be a too little too late in terms of the vision. Disruptor goes down. There's an ogre in the front lines. It's just four heroes void. Well, he's gonna stand tall and look big, but Chrono, he can hit on three, but how much damage do they really have? Is it gonna be enough? Hit Sam H. I don't know. This is a risky business play. Epicenter comes out, he's invis, the spins chasing down onto our sniper, so he goes down and they won't even get the warlock in return. Now the Sand King, Rior, double kill, coming forward there with the blink dagger on the TA. Now Void's in trouble, only a perseverance to his name. No stuns though. Close. There you blow up the poor sniper. I'll be curious if he fully commits it, yeah, okay, he's getting the ultimate orb. It is Lincoln's. I don't know, I thought maybe he would do something. Somebody's is it really? Okay, there's that blink onto the sniper. It shouldn't be there. Okay, never mind, it was a bit closer than I thought. That clock's harder to read than... Oh, I know, it's ridiculous. I otherwise anticipated. But, like, you can't smoke like that, especially with Dazzle in the front. Oh, look That's at these... Oh, go. God! Double cleave coming through from the TA. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, actually. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Wow, okay. They focused everything on the void when Rock got dropped and then he healed. One like more, too? Health. From Teehee? This is they looking just... like some games earlier. 
Yeah, they just didn't need to do anything there. Like, Aegis is gone. Back out. They get a kill on the void because he gets greedy. They had that from Cuckoo knowing he can do that. Yeah. They won't be happy with that at all. They just threw away a, sh a lot of money. So, TNC, just farm. Buy two Midas's. Dodge. But farm more of the map because your heroes are better at farming. Get pick offs like this. That the was void is not that tanky when there's a rune. What was the crit on that? Let's take a look here with the combat log. 426. Like nice. 412. Yeah, yeah. A DD rune. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna have problems with it, though. Alright. We're having some issues here, guys. Sidar goes in, now Rior's in too. He still has the Manta though, and the Diffusal, so that's gonna chunk down the Disruptor very quickly. Oh, the Grave? Okay. Burrow Strike comes through, good Glimmer. Oh, they even... So hopefully they deal with this, because having Vision on the high ground is, like, it's game winning at this point. Because you get to see heroes like this. Crush on the Dazzle. Perfect through with the Omni Slash, and Dazzle's down. So again, no buyback. No one else taking too much damage from this one, though. And now we're just into the Chrono Gaming. Dire wisely backing up. There's the TA. Don't really want to dump solo Chrono. Might feel pressured to, though. It's still the Aegis. They need to save it for after, and they will. But they've lost their Disruptor now. They've lost their Static Storm. Sand King next to Fall with a good blink there from the Jug. And now there's big Chrono opportunities here. How much damage can they lane? There's a question. TA not inside. And not putting any damage onto the face foot at the same time. So they brought down the Warlock, but he's already spent the chains, I guess. And I guess there's no golems this fight, guys, but it's totally fine. Ultra kill, I that Cuckoo. Is game over. One would think so. Item. Or he just goes like a missile. I would like to see BKB just end the game now because I wouldn't want to wait like the eight minutes to get a Roshan. Oh, oh a he almost got that. that BKB, dude. <laughs> but he dies, so not worth. Poor Void. Yeah, they're just getting my out. TNC you know the squad. Yeah, as well, right? Uh, yeah, most of them are now. Uh, I think most have moved now, like the like Jimmy and whatnot. Yeah, it was only Demon that got traded, right? Everyone else is a TI. Oh, I guess it was, yeah, because it was Sam H and the boys too. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Tihi who's the replacement. Tihi, yeah, By and way, he used to be on TNT anyway. <laughs> Keep it quick, chill out, donations. That'll be the Megas. This is a nice chrono, but it's too little too late. GG is called so. Damn! That was a pretty painful one, but well I see from TNC just right off the bat. It's a, uh, a later game lineup for the Radiant, so whenever you lose those kind of games, it's always going to look pretty disheartening.